In this proof of concept video, a very obvious but not trivial attack against a device with an unencrypted NAND flash memory is demonstrated. Exploiting unencrypted persistent storage, meaning data at rest, in the form of hard disk or solid state drives with a popular interface like SATA is usually not that difficult due to readily available tools for accessing those kind of storage devices. However, when targeting raw NAND flash memory chips, for instance used in embedded devices, gaining read or write access to the data of these storage devices is sometimes more involved. The challenge regarding NAND flash memory is to understand the used error correction and data format of the target platform in order to both read error-free data from and correctly write data back to the chip. BCH codes, which are a class of cyclic error correcting codes, are a popular choice for error correction in NAND flash memory technology. Based on the tool PMECC Reader and Decoder by Michael Walter, this security researcher Matthias Deeg developed the open source NAND dump tools for decoding and encoding raw NAND flash memory images for different target platforms. You can download our NAND dump tools from GitHub. Here you can see the targeted device for the proof of concept attack, a SAMA 5D4 Explained Ultra Evaluation Board. The used NAND flash memory chip is a MT29 F4 G08 ABAE AWP by Micron Technology. The targeted SAMA 5D4 device is running Linux. And without knowing valid user credentials, we are not able to successfully log in via the serial console. Thus, as a tagger, we try to gain root access to this device by exploiting the unencrypted NAND flash memory. For our chip off chip on attack, we first have to desolder the NAND flash memory chip. Then we can read its content with a suitable tool like the Universal Programmer UP828P and the correct adapter for the targeted chip. The UP828P Universal Programmer and its software support our Micron NAND memory chip and enables us to read its data. We save the created raw memory dump of the whole device to a file. Next, we set up the NAND dump tools that we are going to use for decoding and later encoding the raw NAND memory dump. First, we let the software tool NAND Dump Decoder work its magic on the raw NAND memory dump file.
As the statistics show, two sectors were corrected and we now have an error-free dump of the NAND flash memory data. Now, we use the memory technology device subsystem for Linux and its NAND simulator to make the content of the raw NAND flash memory dump available on our attacker system. Then we try to mount the unsorted block image file system used by our targeted Sama 5D4 device. By using the correct parameters for our specific Micron NAND flash memory chip, like the correct device ID and page size, both found in the corresponding datasheet, the UV file system could successfully be mounted with read and write access. So now we can have a look at all the data we are interested in. Besides having read access to all the device data, we also want to gain root access to the actual running system. For this, we simply swap the password hash of the available root user account, whose clear text password we don't know, with a known password hash, in this example for the password sys. Additionally, we also create a file demonstrating our hacking success in the root user's home directory. Next, we have to create a raw NAND flash memory image with our modified content that we can write back to the NAND memory chip. The software tool UBReader Utils Info helps us with the first steps in creating an unsorted block image containing a UB file system. We slightly modify the generated INI file for the use with the software tool UbiNice.
and use the suggested parameters for creating a UB file system and image based on our original NAND flash memory dump. Once we have our hacked UV file, we have to combine it with other required data of our targeted Sama 5D4 device, which we directly copy from our original error-corrected NAND flash memory dump. And we also have to make sure that our crafted raw NAND memory image has the correct and expected size for our programmer. Thus, we simply append some bytes with the hex value FF indicating empty memory areas. Finally, we use the NAND dump encoder with a proper NAND configuration for our targeted device. and the correct cryptographic key for the error correcting codes within the spare areas which was extracted during the decoding of our raw NAND flash memory dump. Now we have a properly formatted raw NAND flash memory image for our targeted device that we can write back to the actual NAND flash memory chip. For programming our hacked NAND flash memory image to the NAND chip, we also use the Universal Programmer UP828P. We load our created NAND image Then erase the NAND flash memory chip.
and afterwards program our hacked NAND image. We ignore the shown exception at the end of the programming process, which is always shown in the used installation of this software version, and verify by reading the NAND chip if our data was actually written correctly. As the calculated buffer checksums match, we are good to move on and solder the newly programmed NAND flash memory chip back on our Sama 5D4 target device. If we didn't make any mistake, the targeted device should boot and show a login prompt via the serial console. This time, we use our previously set password sys for the root user account and... Success! We're in! With the demonstrated chip off, chip on NAND flash memory hack, we managed to gain root access on the actual running targeted device.